Laura Bryant and Barry Kleiner here today, and we're talking about slip stitches, right guys? Yes. These are some really, really fun effects that you can get. Thank you. You know, it's, Laura and I were just saying, it's kind of graphic, they're structural mm -hmm. moments, but what happens with slip stitches is that really all you're doing is taking some stitches and slipping them. They're moving them from one needle to the mm -hmm. other without working them. And you can really see it in this first sweater right here. The black is your base, mm -hmm. and then you work a couple of stitches in a contrasting yarn, and the two stitches that remain black are indeed slipped. They're just moved and not worked. So it looks really intricate, you know, almost like, like Fair Isle or stranded color works, but you're not actually using There's, two yarns? You are, but you're only using one yarn in every I row. See, okay. So if you do two rows with A and then two rows with B, working some stitches and slipping some stitches. Mm -hmm. So color A from the row below Gets comes up. Gets up. Exactly. Right. That's great. And in some cases, as in the sweater that Laura did here, you're slipping for multiple rows yeah. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is more structural. It's the same yarn, one yarn, mm -hmm. and it was used to ruche these sleeves, which wow. are very extra long, and when you put them on, they do a yeah. whole thing here. It's very fabulous and, and fashion so it's you're actually slipping that, those two stitches for 12 whole rows, mm -hmm. which is what brings it up. Wow. It gets less and less as you go to the top of the sleeve. It's the differential between the, so you're actually taking advantage like, of right, the... Right, it's, it's, in a way it's like um, horizontal pleating, mm -hmm. if you want to think about it, but or you're smocking doing it all almost. In one step. Mm -hmm. You're doing it all in one step. And if you're a control freak like I am when I knit, you are in control. You can decide how many rows you want to do, you can mm -hmm. do fewer, you can do more. It can be up to you, or you follow the pattern just as it's written. Okay. You, do, you do get to have some control. So it can be a little more intricate, or the sweater next to Laura, that is one single stitch that's slipped. So it's one mm -hmm. yarn, it's a cut, one stitch slipped on top of itself. Mm -hmm. And it just gives an added detail. Mm -hmm. So again, it's, it's slimming, where the yarn itself is self-striping and you're getting horizontal mm -hmm. stripes. This gives you a vertical slip that changes the direction. It brings right. the eye up the body and makes it very slimming. It also wants to fold a little bit where the slip stitch is. Mm -hmm. So on a looser fabric, you would get that sort of pleating mm -hmm. effect. Mm -hmm. So they're structural as well. They're as, structural as well. As well. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me a little bit of the sweater that you're wearing too, because you have, again, horizontal and right. vertical. It's again, there are vertical strips that have been slipped versus the horizontal lines that have just been all the rows have been worked and what it gives you is just this little wavering at the bottom. Okay. Well we keep talking about A and B. In this case A was our main yarn which was a ribbon mm -hmm. in the solid gray and B is a mohair and you can see how they've alternated one sitting on top of the other. Mm -hmm. Okay so that's a longer version of it and the free pattern we have for you is a jacket version okay. of this and we're just going to show you what this all means. So I cast on with my A, and I've done one row to set up my mm -hmm. pattern. You're always going to have two yarns attached, and you start with an edge stitch. So I've got knit one. And did you tie it or anything? You just started knitting? I'm just holding it okay. and keeping it secure. And here's where we're going to slip two stitches. And you always slip as if to purl, no matter mm -hmm. what, unless the pattern tells you otherwise. So I take my needle, put it in like I'm purling, and all I'm doing is slipping it. So okay. the pattern says slip two knit three, and I'm back to my slip two. It doesn't matter what side you, you're holding the yarn on? It will say in the pattern with yarn in front or with yarn in back. Mm -hmm. So in this case it would be WYIB or yarn in back. Mm -hmm. The yarn you're knitting is sitting in the back as you slip your two stitches. Mm -hmm. When you go to do the next row, it would be with yarn in uh -huh. front. So you would move it into the front, mm -hmm. that way those two slip stitches will show. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you cover them. So it's a part of understanding the pattern and making sure you're not covering up your work. And you can see what we're talking about right here. So this was the original. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's a bigger version of what I just started. My two rows of A and then my alternating and putting it in. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be fun to reverse my A oh, and B yeah. and see what happens. And you can see what you do is you lose it. Mm -hmm. Because the mul because this, that yarn is multicolored, and so you don't get the crisp definition of that vertical line. So, do you suggest in general using a solid or solid and or smooth yarn for the slip stitches? Right. I like using a solid and a multi, mm -hmm. or a textured and a flat. Mm -hmm. Two things that are very very different from okay. each other. So you definitely that way get you can that play contrast. the contrast, yeah. right? 
What about this fun sweater that I'm wearing? Well, the one you're wearing was a, a yarn with lashes in it and then a solid ribbon. And this one, there's no lines that run between it. It becomes circular. Mm -hmm. So for six rows, those two stitches are slipped and it creates, it's called the honeycomb stitch. Mm -hmm. It looks like a piece of honeycomb. It's really fun. You can also do like the scarf in front of you. This is done lengthwise. You cast on a oh, lot of stitches uh -huh. and you do lots of big boxes. Mm -hmm. And the slip stitches is done for about 12 or 14 rows in here. Mm -hmm. And they alternate. It almost looks like a brick stitch. And in fact, I think the pattern is called mm -hmm. a brick stitch. It it's sure wonderful. gives it a lot of elasticity. It's, a, it's an amazing, back to that sort of pleated structural effect. Well, and I think right. it's pretty interesting that you're slipping over pearl st or over reverse stockinette right. instead of stockinette. And you don't have to. I liked the contrast. Because we're using a basic yarn, I wanted to add a little texture. So I chose to make my contrasting color in reverse stockinette. Well, it's plus, beautiful. And plus, it gives you that rolling. I'm sorry. It gives you that rolling structural thing of the reverse and the stockinette flipping back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. 